Janine Williams is about to sell this green township home after realizing her family needed to downsize to a condo. She says the news surrounding real estate agent commissions initially confused her, but that she's still willing to pay 3% commission for the services of her realtor, Derek Dansby, with the buyer's agent also getting 3%. I expect that he's going to give me good service, great representation, good connections, and you know, the 3% covers that. The National Association of Realtors this month agreed to a settlement of a lawsuit accusing the organization of violating antitrust laws. The lawsuit centered on the industry's standard 6% commission rate. Plaintiffs argued it's artificial and hampers competition. Under that system, a home seller's agent would set the commission rate, usually that 6%. They then negotiate directly with a buyer's agent over what slice they would get, normally half of the total or 3%. Under the new agreement, agents will negotiate rates directly with the buyer or seller and not each other. So rates could vary and consumers could save money. Tracy Dunn is the president of the Realtors Alliance of Greater Cincinnati, which includes about 6,500 members. She says changes are coming, including some agents possibly switching to a fee-based model or performance-based commissions. And I've heard lots of speculation about what might happen, but I think right now what we are doing is working to train agents to help communicate their value and helping educate consumers. In Green Township, James Pilcher, Local 12 News. You can always find our Local 12 stories right here on YouTube. Don't forget to tap subscribe and then you can get all the notifications.